So the Guinness World Records title for the world's shortest people uh, are among the most visual and therefore the most iconic of all the records that we monitor. Um, everyone is fascinated around the world by these characters because you can imagine, you can get a sense of what it must be like being that small, like a child size, but living in this giant adult world. Mankind has always been interested in extremes and one can go back to the 19th century to Tom Thumb. There was a mythological tale of, of Tom Thumb which belongs to very many nationalities of the world. So that shows the interest that people globally took in tiny people, the abnormalities. She may be the shortest living woman, but Jyoti Amge is one of the biggest personalities we have in the Guinness World Records universe. We had the chance recently to have Jyoti come to New York City for the first time, and I had the honor to actually sort of be her tour guide around town. And it's amazing how she stands only uh, two feet and less than an inch tall, but she is just a celebrity everywhere she goes. Uh, <laughs> People have this almost sort of sympathy, I think, and, and a need to pick them up. That's the, one of the biggest complaints that the world's shortest people, when I've met them, have said that what they hate most of all is people going, oh, look how cute he is, and picking them up. They absolutely hate that. Um, that's only one of the challenges they face, because of course, trying to live in a world that's designed for someone who's six foot, when you're only 21 inches, is not ideal. The first time I had to measure a candidate for the world's shortest man was with He Ping Ping from Mongolia and China. Uh, and he was just like, I guess, a regular 18, 19 year old boy. You know, he just wanted to live like everyone else. Uh, and he was such a great character. He had so much personality. And I think he had to make up for his lack of height by having this really outgoing personality. So he was very, very uh, excitable. He loved running around. He'd be a bit mischievous, a bit naughty. He was, so, he was so cute. He also hated being picked up. And, he's, and he would kick quite viciously if you did pick him up without asking. Suddenly, Ping Ping passed away in March 2010. He's always the iconic record breaker that Chinese people would remember. Rest in peace, Ping Ping. I also had the great joy and, and honor of traveling to Nepal to meet Chandra Dangi. We weren't sure if Chandra was going to be the world's shortest man. We'd had vague, quite indistinct photographs. We'd heard reports in the news, we weren't quite sure. So we had to travel there. We, we have to go in person as a Guinness World Records representative to make sure that they are as tall or as short as they claim. Mr. Dengi is very exciting his age and also the fact that his relatives are all normal size. In Chandra Dangi's case, it's very, very difficult for him to stand up properly straight because he has this very pronounced bowing in his legs and his knees have kind of fused and his legs are stuck in this position. So he's kind of in a squat position, but because that is his maximum standing height, that's the height we take to determine the Guinness World Records title. It proved ultimately to be not just the shortest living man, but in fact the shortest man that we'd ever formally measured at Guinness World Records. So that was a real honour to be there and responsible for that record category. Of course, lots more time will have to pass before we know if he will be forever the shortest man. But again, there must be a limit. And perhaps Mr Dengue is at the bottom line of that limit. What I find amazing working at Guinness World Records over the past 12 years is that for the first half of that time we had no claims for shortest man. It just didn't, it wasn't a thing. And in fact what's happened since measuring Ping Ping uh, five years ago, the record now is 20 centimetres shorter than that so in just a matter of a few years. So I'm not prepared to say I will never measure someone smaller, but who knows. Um, again, the internet is making the world such a small place that um, finding these people is becoming easier and easier. Guinness World Record.